Okay, Suzanne, the moment has finally arrived. We are sitting here with the Canadian tenors who have skyrocketed into the stratosphere in popularity. Oh, everybody wants to hear and see the tenors. Oprah Winfrey, Dr. Will, Doc, Dr. Phil, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> anyway, these guys are unbelievable. I can't wait to speak to them. And I have to tell you, Georgia, when I, when I told my girlfriends that we were going to be meeting the Canadian tenors, they were actually swooning. And with good reason. Absolutely. So let's introduce the Canadian tenors. We have Remigio here. Hello, ladies. Hello, and Fraser. Hi, everybody. And Clifton. And Victor. Welcome to the Y, ladies. Thank, Thank you. Oh, great Happy to have to you here. guys here. Thank oh. you. Now, we're excited. We're going to see you in about, what, 20 minutes on stage? Yes. And you were doing some kind of funny thing with the lift going on there. What yeah. was that? We, we, <laughs> First can't, we can't talk about it. It's sort of a behind closed doors <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, it's you know? Is yeah. that a secret yeah. weapon of some kind? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Something makes Frazier Frazier. Oh. <laughs> so you guys are just amazing. So i got to ask you, I know you guys have been around together as a group. Clifton, you're one. You're like the new kid on the block. If, can I say that the new kid on the block? But how did you guys all find each other? How did you get together? Uh, about uh, four years ago, Ramiju, myself, and Victor were uh, introduced by a lady on the West Coast named Jill Siemens, okay. um, who brought us together. Uh, she knew that, that we were working in different parts of the music business, okay. and uh, we found Clifton about a year and a half ago. We had been searching for the perfect fit for for a few years there, mm -hmm. and uh, we can't seem to get rid of this guy. <laughs> and, uh, and don't you dare! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> No, it was we, a tight squeeze, but we got him in. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> we, uh, we found him through Universal, our record label, and the rest is history. It's really been an amazing uh, experience, the four of us, uh, again, to, to perform around the world. So chemistry awesome. is a really important part of the group, right? That's huge, yeah. It's now, everything. It's like a family. We're, we, we see each other more than we see our families, you know? And, and when we're on the road, you have to have that personality that, you know, mm. lets things kind of bounce off and then, you know, cool down a little bit. I mean, we all get hot-headed a little bit, you yes. know? But, uh, it's, we know it's, what that's like. We're sisters. Yeah. <laughs> so, there you go. So uh, we're brothers with voices. That's what we have. Yeah. So. And Clifton, as like I said, the new kid on the block, like yes. these guys are probably a pretty tight brotherhood when Definitely. you join them. So what was it like, uh, you know, sort of joining these guys? Like not too well, long Well, they're all such a wealth of knowledge. You know, everyone comes from a very unique background musically and, mm -hmm. and stylistically speaking. And uh, to come into a group like this, uh, it's just a great opportunity to learn and to grow and, and to add my bit when the time is right. But uh, it, it's been an amazing experience um, and I'm all well, I've become a better artist a better singer um, a better writer and composer just because all these guys and uh, their talent shows in every day they're singing they're speaking they're everything they do is, is, is you know it's training their whole life to, yeah. to perfect the art of singing and performing so it's 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 a magical experience to be with these guys it's great and everyone wants to know who's single and who's married now I know Remigio well, you're definitely married because it's your son's second birthday here today wow I'm married now Oh. oh, you're not married. Oh, okay. these, are how, these are how rumors start. <laughs> Oh, do I stand corrected? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's okay. getting a call okay. from People oh, Magazine right, right now as we speak. That. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> here's another rumor. We understand that, Victor, you're the real romantic one. So, true or false? Uh, <laughs> ask my wife. <laughs> Zachary is proof of that. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It was a funny Zachary, thing. Yeah. These two, are, they, they, they get asked if they're brothers a lot. So, uh -huh. a lot of the times, they get switched. So, for the record, Vic's got the baby. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Okay. And Remy, although Victor is too, he is a, a very great gentleman. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> what did you call him? Look at that pause there. A stallion. A stallion. A stallion. A and Remy, you're the wingman I heard for Fraser. Is that right? No, he's the he was the wing. That, this was a long time ago. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> We were, you know, Listen. when we were single, way back in the day. <laughs> that Wikipedia, I'm gonna fire that guy. To anything. <laughs> That's dated. That was a long time ago. Was you know? it? Yeah, that was back in the day. Oh, okay. And your yeah. first passion was hockey, right? Yeah, I was, I was a hockey player. I wanted to be an NHL hockey player, mm. but uh, then I got injured and right. um, started, you know, playing with my sister's guitar, and then it just became an obsession. And then, you know, that's how it all kind of, you know, began. But. Um, yeah, singing didn't start till I was in my 20s. That's amazing. I was actually saying to Suzanne the other day, well, like, I cannot believe that. Like, Remy, hockey was your, your passion, mm -hmm. and then when you got injured, but then to, to, to take another, another art form, or, or anything for that matter, and excel to that degree, 
that is just incredible, honestly. It's amazing. Well, thank you. I, I just, you know, I knew, I've always, I've always been goal oriented. I've always, you know, when I was playing hockey, I was playing hockey and that's what I was doing. And so when I couldn't play anymore, I had to do something, you know? Right. And so when my, the guitar was there, it just became an obsession and a passion. And, uh, you know, when you find something you love, it's, it's, you know, it's hard to let it go. Yeah. I want to ask Victor, what, uh, how has uh, this life now being a celebrity, what has changed? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the good and what's, well, the, what's routine the not so is good? Well, routine is a different term in my life now. Mm -hmm. I mean, my routine is on the road with these guys, and uh, we try to fit uh, root, uh, some time for family, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Being a father and a husband, it, it's tough, but these guys, you know, they have girlfriends as well, and, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, you need to leave that time uh, for your, your personal life as well uh, and that's why going back to the question about chemistry yes, it is yes. so so important mm -hmm. uh, that the chemistry is good yeah. because uh, we are brothers uh, people don't realize how much time we spend with each other but yeah. we wake up you and, better and like each other <laughs> and spend the whole day with each other more more than you would you're even uh, than you than you would your spouse so yes. uh, it's it's extreme mm -hmm. uh, with with uh, routine, we're still finding a routine. It's been a hectic, hectic year, a good year, a Absolutely. great year, phenomenal year. Yes. Uh, but we're still adjusting. We're, we're still spinning and, and, and asking ourselves how, how we can make it better. And uh, But it's been good. It's been I a think, great I think ride. we slept like six days in our own bed. This, this past like nine months. Wow, in nine months. Yeah. Holy And smokes. of course, we he, we are here at the Jackson Triggs Winery, and yes. we need to ask you, of course, a little bit about wine. Uh, who loves wine? Who's a wine aficionado? Who's the who's the culinary person in the group here? We think, we think Victor? Vic takes the cake. Vic, Vic lived in uh, in Italy for six years, actually, so um, with the opera company there, and right. you know, close to Tuscany. So he takes the in cake. Yeah. Oh, in nice. Tuscany. Yeah. So, so two, it, super Tuscans. That's all. Awesome. I was <laughs> just gonna say. Fettuccine. Who's uh, the one that sings uh, in uh, the? Fettuccine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remy's the fettuccine guy. Fettuccine Oh, I love that. That's there awesome. Go. There you go. <laughs> That's great. But now I have to ask you guys too, as celebrities, do you guys feel like a little bit of responsibility um, to sort of give back? Because I know, uh, Fraser, I believe it was on your birthday, you gave a gift of giving back when you guys went to Swaziland, was yeah, that what it was? Yeah, um, two years ago uh, on, on my birthday in August, mm -hmm. uh, we happened to be in Africa and we were visiting an orphanage that day and uh, I think I was interviewed and, and that was a really powerful uh, moment to, to sort of realize what uh, what that meant, you know, instead of sort of receiving gifts of, of material uh, of a material nature, it was more so we were sharing this time with these uh, incredible children who, who show so much joy. They've had a lot of trauma in their lives, uh, but there's a lot of hope there. It's a, a charity that, that we started called Voices for Bulembu, right. and uh, we were very fortunate to raise nine hundred forty-five thousand dollars last year in a concert that we gave in, in uh, Vancouver. And uh, so we have another concert coming up uh, this September, and we're actually returning to Africa this summer. Wow. Um, to visit Bulembu once again and, and also to be in, in Kenya and in South Africa. So it's an amazing nation. Uh, it really needs uh, our help and, yeah. and we are thrilled to be involved in, in that cause. Congratulations. Now I know you guys are anxious to get uh, up there at, at the amphitheater to get ready for your show. So I guess we're going to have to let you go. Oh, <laughs> really? They didn't say anything. <laughs> I know they will be. We just want to make sure everyone uh, knows it in the area. We, we are here for the Jackson Trigg show, but we got a show just uh, in St. Catharines coming up on the 1st. Okay, uh, okay. I think it's in December. Okay. December. That's right. And so you get your tickets for it. It'll be a nice holiday performance for awesome. us. Awesome. What, what's the website? Where should they go? Uh, we can go to canadiantenors.com, check out all the tour dates and uh, all the live feeds. And they can check us out on Facebook now, too. And Twitter. I know. Hooray. We made friends with a couple there of you guys go. already. I love that Facebook. <laughs> it's amazing. If, if you're busy on that night, you don't have any excuse. The next the night, we're in Toronto at the Sony Center. Oh. Uh, so if you miss the St. Catherine show, do join us for that second show. And what about your CD? Platinum CD? Yeah. Way to go, guys. Your Pretty debut exciting. CD. Thank you awesome. Thank you, so much. Yeah. That's you guys are available. wonderful and DVDs so nice, too. Yeah. Come on, Dole. Yeah. Yeah. We Sweet. wish you all the success. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you, gentlemen, Thank for you. sitting down. And we'll see you later on Thank after the good. show. Nice. Sounds good. Cheers. Okay. Bye, everybody.
Okay, so we're standing here now with the chief winemaker of Vincor. Keith Bown is here with us. Keith is in charge of all the vineyards here on the East Coast with Vincor as well as the West Coast. And he's got something to do in Quebec too. So Keith, welcome. It's great Thank to you. see you again. Oh, it's good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so, we keep meeting. Uh, you, we keep meeting, we do, exactly. <laughs> it's finally cooled down. It's been such a hot day here today. Yeah, that's that's great for the vines. That what that's what they love. <laughs> and that, we had a lot of that in this for the, throughout the uh, 2010 so far. Lots of yeah, sun. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, been a, an incredible season so far for Ontario. Really, you know, we're a long way ahead of where we normally are or normally expect to be at this time of the year. And you were saying you're ahead of California in terms of the uh, grape growing now as well. Yeah, I was speaking with a colleague of mine at um, in California. He's chief winemaker for Constellation Brands over there. Kind of my role in California. And he was saying that on their schedule, they're about two and a half weeks behind. So mm. we're three and a half weeks ahead. So, it, so we've got all wow. the California sunshine in Ontario. Is that what's going on? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> I came He's from the Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and the Okanagan is sort of suffering the same fate so far as well a little bit. Yeah, my team in the Okanagan, are, yeah, they're the same. They're about two and a half weeks, almost three weeks behind with the... Um, the, the, the grapes there and it's going to be challenging because they've they've had it cool they've had it cloudy they've had a bit of rain so mm. yeah and the Okanagan season is a very short season yeah when once we hit November yeah that'll be it they, they'll be over so they'll they'll be hoping for some really hot days in the um in the next few weeks well we've got a couple what a couple of months still at the most I guess to, to get that get the good temperatures yeah yeah, yeah. In, in Ontario here we'll probably start vintage I, I'm thinking we'll start vintage in August but certainly early September we'll hope to start vintage by mid-September in the Okanagan and it's going to be a short sharp vintage for the so guys. So you're traveling there. back and forth between yep. all, all the different areas? Yeah yeah I'm out to the Okanagan next Monday in fact. And you're Marco's boss aren't you? That's right yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's a young protege he's a great winemaker for Jackson Trick so Oh, he's yeah. a great guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love his a... Italian accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a couple of young winemakers out in the Okanagan who make wine for Jackson Tricks in the Okanagan as well. How do you find a good winemaker? How, uh, what's the process? How does that work? Um, you search the world. You really do. Um, we're starting to see a lot of you know sort of young winemakers coming through the. Canadian education system and there yes. are now some wine courses and wine education systems in Canada but yeah for, certainly for the last 10 to 15 years you've had to go international I mean they went international for me Aussies, that's for sure yeah yeah we're, we're yeah, all yeah. over the place <laughs> <laughs> the Aussies are coming the Aussies are coming we're here to help and share our knowledge <laughs> absolutely now I have a question for you as well because you're in charge of both the Okanagan and the Niagara if you had to pick one or two of the major differences that identify the two regions what would you say good question um yeah very good question the okanagan traditionally and you know this season is proving me wrong but the okanagan <laughs> is traditionally a much warmer warmer um climate than ontario much cooler climate in ontario and i use shiraz as the comparison okay, you know okay. in the okanagan we can make shiraz very much along australian style shiraz you know big um, bold, red, alcoholic, jammy style of Shiraz. Yeah. Whereas Ontario, you don't traditionally get that. You get that much more refined Syrah style mm -hmm. of wine. And white pepper is very sort of dominant in those, you know, Okanagan Shiraz. And the Jackson Triggs Delane Shiraz is a classic example of an Ontario Shiraz. Well, we tasted so that's that the big one. That's variation. Did you? Yeah, we tasted the Syrah, the Excellent. Jackson Triggs Syrah from here. Yep. And it was unbelievable. I will yeah. never forget it. That yeah. was that well, last year, I think. Yep, excellent. Yeah, yeah yep. it was delicious. And the white pepper was definitely there. Not black pepper, white pepper. Yeah, black, black, <laughs> black pepper is what you get when you get those riper flavors, and that's what we get in the Okanagan. So that, that's oh, the big okay. sort of comparison difference. So Ontario is a fantastic region for white wines and, of course, ice wines. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> we, we can't go with that. Are we going to have any ice wines at the dinner tonight, the winemaker's dinner, I wonder? Yes, absolutely. Are we? Yes, I'm okay. confident. <laughs> <laughs> well, Keith, thank you for uh, being with us here in the beautiful breezy uh, terrace it's here. Great, isn't it? Yes, it's cooling fantastic. off and uh, looking forward to the concert. It's going to be starting in just a few moments. Okay. Great. Thanks, Keith. Thank you. <laughs>